I don't think I showed this, and I meant to, um, this post that really highlights why you wonder they are so aggressive, the left, progressive left, are so aggressive against um, trying to um, keep tabs on like independent creators um, and independent media and people that are detached from the mediums on which from which they control. See, the the uh, objective here is not to sit here and they're not pretending anymore. Right. They'll even try to work with the big companies like the Googles, YouTubes of the world to try to reasonably stifle some sort of form of communication there uh, because they don't want information to get out. Um, but there's a reason for that. And I'm going to show you here in a little bit. Julian Castro, somebody did a great job of screenshotting this. Julian Castro, you know, him. this is leftist. Nothing new, nothing that can't be said. And he's, this is how he responds to what happened out of the previous election. Um, with uh, the Virginia gubernatorial uh, election with Yunkin, of course, beating out McAuliffe. That pissed off a lot of people, um, and they're still not wanting to come to terms with the reality. So what happened? What did Julian Castro say? He says, Yunkin has shown Republicans that they can lauder dog whistles Again, these, these, this term dog whistle is just a hilarious word because they seem to be the only ones that can hear them. So at what point are you the motherfucking dog? Uh, but he says dog whistles through huge unregulated platforms, driving base turnout, even a while distancing from Trump. Democrats need to better control the narrative with our own wedge issues and with a positive forward thinking message. Now, of course you can read between the lines of what it is that he's saying. He's looking at unregulated platforms. He's talking about Twitter, which none of these companies are unregulated by the way, but he's talking about the Twitters, Facebooks, the YouTubes, that of which a lot of us have been able to thrive that weren't fucking leftists. And you got to understand when they use these terms, they're not just referring to people that support Republicans. They're referring to people that just don't support them. Okay. And if you beat them in their own game, it's then has to be something uh, criminal or there's some malintent or something's going on there that is preventing them from having absolute fucking control. So he he's blaming these unregulated platforms that, you know, CNN can't get more numbers than, let's say, Crowder, Stephen Crowder, for example. And they don't like that. They was bitching about that. Uh, Brian Stelzer, not too long ago, we covered this on the show. And the hilarious thing is that the acceptable narrative, Democrats already control that. They already control it. They've, they've, they've been controlling it for a while. We've seen what happens uh, with the uh, 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 the mass bannings and you know it's not like they're doing that to mainly leftists or anything <laughs> no when they talk about misinformation and disinformation it's really anything that goes to the contrary of what these fucking democrats are saying that's what medical misinformation is that's what misinformation or disinformation is so the people that already control the narrative are bitching about this and they think they should control it even more basically because he's under this moronic impression that you know okay look at this it's the unregulated platforms because you know why he's saying it they control everything else right unregulated platforms just means social media platforms that has non-leftists on there that are impactful and influential that's it that's all that means that's all that means they're not unregulated but that's all that 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 it means um, I prefer that they were uh, unregulated. That would be awesome, but they're not. And a lot of them work with the governments in, in itself with contracts and, and all of that. They work with Amazon. We, we Look, this this isn't this isn't a secret. Um, I've documented this a very long time. So nonetheless, entertainment, they control. Mainstream media, what is deemed as the acceptable news, NBC, ABC, all of that. They control that. 
that's funneled through them. That is uh, their platform from which the information flows through and then is given to you and then is deemed as acceptable. All, all the artists bug dance for them every single time there's an election. Artists, entertainers. So they have every industry, basically. And the fact that there's people that are thriving outside of that really pisses them off. And this is why they hate independent uh, media and they hate independent creators so much. All that misinformation, disinformation and those terms, those are really only used because they just want to delegitimize that. And in often cases, give the reason or try to justify government intervention. So they can stop that from happening. Right. That's the only reason they do that. But the idea that there are folks like myself that have decent followings that may not be preaching the narratives that they deem. And in this case, like, it's not like me. I've told anybody to go vote for Yunkin or anything. I've never said, said such a thing. But they, they can feel the grip being lost, which is why I'm c- tossing these constant white pills at you, man. Right? We're not black pill over here. No, no, no. We, we, we remain optimistic. Because just as quick as things got bad, they can get better. And these people are realizing that their, their stranglehold that they had they're losing the grip and people are now able to go other ways, other places to get their source of information more importantly to connect with other people that pisses them off. But them being mad doesn't do much good, but it's just amazing that these people think or Julian Castro and such, and you, he's not the only one that have said this. They got to do better to control the narrative. That's what they say. Pay attention to what that means. You just watched a clip from my podcast, For Cannon's Sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at youtube.com slash youngripper59 and follow us over at odyssey.com slash at youngripper59. If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit forcanonsake.com.